Today I am here to talk about low carb and processed meats and red meats. Now I'm donning black today because um, you know the news that I'm about to share is you know pretty frustrating and hard uh, for the low carb community. Um, as you may have known, uh, the World Health Organization released a statement saying that uh, red meat is probably carcinogenic to humans and that processed meat definitely is. Processed meat is a category one and carcinogenic to humans. So what does that mean for the low carb world when um, our favorite foods are just full of processed meats? So I just want you to keep an open mind here because um, one of the goals, you know, when you're doing low carb is to get to a healthier you. So if you're doing it by eating a bunch of stuff that's still not good for you in other ways, then you're really not doing yourself a favor. So I want to show you a lot of our favorite projects, products to eat that are actually full of carcinogens because they are processed meats. First one is going to be your lunch meat. All lunch meat is processed meat. Um, one of the key ingredients to look for is going to be your sodium nitrate. And that's usually the last ingredient listed and sodium nitrate, okay? Uh, Hormel Naturals uh, does make a nitrate-free lunch meat. So if you're a lunch meat kind of person, you still have options that are better. Sausage, brats, and hot dogs, all processed meat. Bacon. Processed meat, full of sodium nitrate. Turkey bacon, processed meat, full of sodium nitrate. Little Smokies, full of sodium nitrate, processed meat. A lot of our uh, beef jerky, full of sodium nitrate, processed meat. Pepperoni, processed meat. Big old slab of salami, processed meat. So now that I got that depressing news um, out of the way, what are some options we should still be looking at? Um, you know, fish is still a great option. Um, so all of your salmon, especially wild caught salmon, all of that is still good for you. It's got lots of omega-3s, omega-6s, and important nutrients in there for you. Um, and uh, that's one of the better options. Um, of course, your tuna is always good. Um, the albacore is a little bit better for you. Albacore tuna has um, more omega-3 in it, which is better for your heart and everything else. So chicken breast, um, you know, all that is still, you know, good for you. It's not red meat. It's not processed meat. Um, you know, they're taking it apart, but they're not running it through the grinder and putting a bunch of preservatives in it to give it to you cheaper. So um, I just want you to keep this in mind. A lot of us out there um, really want to lose weight, but we also want to be healthy. And, you know, if you're going on about kicking all these processed foods out of your diet, um, you know, processed foods include processed meats. So um, just keep in mind for your health and try to limit all this crap and stick to the good stuff. Another really good option would be your grass-fed beef, anything like that. Um, or any of you who hunt, you know, that's all organic and natural and that's great. So um, keep these things in mind. Keep up your good work. I'm not saying you have to give it up completely, but um, these things definitely uh, do cause cancer. And there's no point in saying you're living healthier and you're doing all this great stuff and screw the food industry if you're still eating a bunch of processed stuff.